All right, just got done with this one. Uh, yeah, she don't care about the leaves, none of that. She just want the grass cut. As you can see, it's about to be sold. Uh, next stop is a leaf mulch cleanup and shrub job. Should be fairly quick. Long part is probably gonna be um gonna be um the long part is gonna be uh blowing those leaves. Most of them are gonna take that long. Blowing the leaves gonna take a long time. I'd be glad in days of me having not do that no more we come. I'm so tired of lifting this thing up. Like I told my wife, she was like, I had ordered the um, gorilla lift assist. She was like, you're just ordering stuff for no reason. I said, man, listen, you ain't out there in the heat. When it get hot, everything get harder. Everything seems heavier when it start getting hot. This tailgate, it seems like it ain't nothing now. But when it start being 98 degrees, 102, 103, I take it can be feel heavy as I don't know what. So I already just go on and get something for that now and get it out of the way. So I gotta check and see if this uh client texts me back. Cause they need to move their stuff in the back. They got stuff in the back and I cannot do it unless they move their stuff. The last guy was charging her $65. And at first I was like, wow, this little property is $65 until I walked to the back. And I said, I mean, obstacles you gotta go through just to cut the grass in the back. Yes, I had to jump a fence to cut the lane. I told her, I said, hey, listen, you can't be doing that. <laughs> I, I can't be lifting no lawnmower across no fence, none of that type of stuff. I did it yesterday because I had time to come outside and move your vehicle. Next time you got to move your vehicle. That vehicle cannot be there. I mean, you won't be the cut, cut back. That ain't going to happen. Mm. Ain't even hot yet. That's just crazy. Oh man, I ain't even put my power aid back. Gotta keep that cold, you know what I'm saying? So the only reason that day is not efficient, like it's like, I don't think, I think it's about 11 or something. I have the phone there. It's only around. Oh. It's 1121. So yeah, I only got like three clients done. That's because today is not a working day for me. I normally don't work on Fridays anyway, but I'm just doing extra work or like people that like skip early in the week. Um, I'm doing that. People that skip early in the week, new clients, today estimates. So it's normally my off day. I'm off. You know, I'm off every Friday. I plan on not working Fridays. I plan on keeping up for landscaping and maintenance and just rain days. Like yeah, four days a week, good enough. That's good enough. I can knock out ten a day, four days a week. Eighty clients is my max probably. Which I don't think I'm gonna do that much. I think I'm gonna do 60. I think I'm gonna do 60. Cause I'm at 50 now. So I'm gonna get 10 more clients, and that's gonna be it. Uh, not saying I'm gonna suck. What I'm gonna do is switch out clients. If I get better clients, the ones I don't really care to have, I'm gonna have to just let them go. There's some clients that, man, I ain't gonna lie. I don't mind push more sometimes. But now, the, the further along I get in this business and my path in life, Push more and not the way to go, man. It just ain't. It's just super inefficient. The best thing to do is to get you a stand on like 42 inch or something like that. That's my plan. I'm gonna get me a stand on 42 inch. If my 42 inch can't fit your gate, I'm just not gonna do it. That's the way it's gonna be, man. Like, I don't know. It just push more. It just takes longer. It just takes longer. You have to walk behind it, turn it. Like, it takes longer and it's hot. You wanna keep turning the lawnmower. You're gonna stand the lawnmower and just cut. So I already had plans of getting me a stand a lot more next. I already said I want another zero turn because when I realized about zero turn, when you do it most jobs and all that, all that should be flying in your face and all that. Heck, no, nah, I'm tired of that. Give me a stand no more, man. I'm looking at it. Uh, I want it. I think I get the uh, the V2 ride, Skag V2, but I don't know if we got a lot of Skag um, support near Savannah, Georgia. There's some guys got Skags around here, but I don't see no dealerships near around here. So it's probably gonna end up being probably gonna get me a stand on Toro. Since I got a Toro shop right around the corner, they can just order they can just order whatever I want. So I think I'm just give me a grandstand, man, call it a day. I think I'm get the grandstand, but I want the attachment. I want that one with the attachment though. So we're gonna see how much that costs and all that. But right now, I'm saving up to buy a house. So that's most important. Buy my, buy my house first, get this house first, then I'll probably get that grandstand probably at the end of the summer. I'll probably just push more all this year for the rest of the year. 
But, I, but I, I, I'm also thinking about buying me a used more. I think about buying me a used walk behind with the uh, Soki, whatever it's called, you stand on. Or oh, at least a bigger walk behind, a commercial walk behind. I see a guy selling a scag for 1500 36 inch scag walk behind. I'm like, that'd be better. At least I can cut more grass at a time. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So many options. But anyway, though, this video is a little too long. I'm going to holler at y'all. your boy, Kurt. Race it. Go long, kid. We got you.